Hey guys, it's a deadly kitten here. If you are new here, welcome. We do a lot of unboxings. Today is no different. Today we are getting into actually BoxyCharm. I know it says Ipsy, but it's actually BoxyCharm. It is um, BoxyCharm for the month of April. Sorry, I had to think of which month it was. Um, but yeah, it is for the month of April. It came a little... Um, actually came really early um I'm just really late making videos I've had a lot going on a lot of health issues which is why I haven't been posting as much as I should um because I haven't been able to make videos um so that is why I've been having such an absence um also I didn't have a card for this because I did open up um I did open this up because one it came pretty much almost open but this is the thing it says it says April boxy charm by Ipsy and then inside it tells you about epic deals power picks stuff like that but it doesn't and tells you about the the next icon box which is by ABH so but it never told you what was in it um and then I received an email, which is really kind of, I'm thankful that I didn't film when I did because I got an email just a couple days ago. Um, mind you, it's past April 20th. Um, I'll put it to you that way. And just a couple days ago, I received an email saying, hey, here's how you use your April picks. Granted, I did go on, I did choose a couple of these, um, and I'll let you know which ones I did pick. Um, I don't remember picking all of these. I don't think I picked all of these. Um, I know I picked two at least. So, but yeah, it came, this month it came in an Ipsy box, so I don't know if it's going to always be now in an Ipsy box, because it's now Ipsy, but I have no idea. Anyway. This is a regular boxy charm. I'm not gonna. I have been debating on upgrading to the boxy charm plus, um, or however they want to freaking call it on their website now because it's all now Ipsy. So you have your regular Ipsy bag, which is the samples. Then you have the boxy charm, which is Ipsy plus, um. And then you have the Boxy Premium, which I think now is just now Boxy Plus. So, and then you have now the Icon Box, which was Boxy Lux. So, and it also was Ipsy Glam Bag X. So, there's that. Anyway, I have all the prices. I didn't put down, um, because I, I film on my phone, if you guys do not know, and... Because I film on my phone, um, I, the email came to my phone because that's where I get my emails. I don't have a printer. So, yeah. Anyway, I just wrote down the prices. I didn't write down what they do, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, the first item through here is from Fenty. Um, this is an item I did pick. This is their heat, um, gloss bomb heat. I got mine in the shade Lemon Lava. I have been so excited because I've never tried any of her gloss bombs before. And this is what it looks like. Does it smell like lemon? I have been holding on to this. And I've been wanting to make this video just so I could try this product alone. It smells semi-fruity, but I don't think it's lemon. But it doesn't necessarily smell like a... Like most lip glosses do, how they, you know, they smell like, uh, most, uh, like vanilla or cupcake. Anyway, the, that lip gloss is actually $26 for that itty bitty little amount, which is 0.3 fluid ounces. So it's kind of expensive, which is why I don't normally purchase it, which is why I wait for boxes like this to get it. The other thing that I know for a fact that I picked on here... Uh, is this, which is the Ciate London Lip Mask. Um, I'm going to actually show you my lip mask that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, which is the Laneige. 
sleeping carrot lip mask. This one is in peached iced tea. Um, and if you can't tell, like you can see, I clearly use this. I use it every single day, like every single day. So this one, uh, I fear that one is running out of its shelf life. Um, so I was like, when they offered me a lip mask, I was like, yes, please. Um, so we'll see how this one goes. Um, because I am very picky about my lip masks. I've tried a few that I just did not like. Um, but here is the packaging. It is super, super cute. It has this little smiley face. Doesn't really smell. So. We'll try it. I don't want to try it right now. Uh, but that is $18, so that's actually not a bad price. I think the Laneige ones are like $20. Um, so, and that is it for things that I think I picked. I don't remember picking anything else. Um, I might have. I have no idea. The next thing in here is something I've received before, which is Mud Masky. This is their Vitamin Infused Eye Serum, which this one feels incredibly full. This is one fluid ounce. Which is shocking because usually this stuff, when we usually get it, doesn't feel full. Um, I'm not into eye serums yet, but I do know a lot of people that are really much into eye serums. That, by the way, for one fluid ounce is $52. Um, and I do believe, like, regular BoxyCharm is, what, $25? Bucks. So already with this, with even the, just the Fenty, the Fenty alone already paid for the box. So it's like everything else is just bonus, but the eye serum alone was half, like, or double, sorry, not half, double. So the next thing in here is by Tula. This is their So Smooth Resurfacing and Brightening Fruit Enzyme Mask. So I'm wondering, it says, beat your skin, the good stuff formulated without paraben sulfates, phthal phthalates, Mineral oil and petroleum, formaldehyde, retinol, fragrance, dairy, gluten, silicone, dimethicone. We're cruelty-free. Instantly exfoliate with this resurfacing enzyme mask. Sweet. I actually need this. I'm hoping that this isn't like their one that they had. Um, it's already a different... Okay. So it's a little pump like this. Which is really nice. I really actually need this because I have been waxing recently. Um, so I really need um, exfoliating. So that I really needed. Um, that is $36. And I'll just have to read the ingredients later. So, and then finally, by the way, I don't know what kind of squigglies are these? Like... I honestly, I don't understand. Anyway, finally, last but definitely not least is probably one of my favorite items um, ever. Um, I don't know, like, anytime I go to Sephora, um, I always try to pick one of these up. So, I love this product. It's one of my favorites. And it is the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. I love dry shampoo. I live for dry shampoo. My hair does not necessarily always want to work. Um, always, I don't wash my hair every single day. Um, I'm not like most people. I wash my hair maybe, if anything, twice a week. Um, that might be a stretch. Mostly, it's once a week. Um, so there's just because I like getting that, um, the oils in my hair. So I like having really long, thick hair and I find that having those oils really help. Um, so I tend to wash my hair only about once a week, sometimes twice a week, depending on how busy my work schedule is and how much like I'm sweating. If I'm really, really sweaty or if I'm, like, working out, I may wash it maybe even three times. It depends on, you know, my sweat levels. Um, but yeah. I live, though, for dry shampoo because of that. 
That, by the way, is $26, um, which isn't a bad price, granted. Uh, if I do go and get um, drugstore, I usually just go with the... Uh, oh, you always see the commercials with them on the tropical island, and I can't think. I have a bottle in the other room, because I use it all the time. Um, and I mean, I literally, I use it all the time. But anyway... Um, this wasn't a bad box. It wasn't a bad box at all. I will use four out of five items. The only thing I won't probably use is the eye serum. Um, but yeah, that was everything that I had for you guys today. If you guys get BoxyCharm or Ipsy, um, or whatever the hell that they're trying to call it nowadays, um, please, if you guys got different items, let me know down below what you guys got. Um, I'm always curious to know. Um, because I still go around and watch other people's videos on what they get. Um, but yeah, that was everything that I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so sorry for lack of videos. But I will just see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!